Hey guys, I'm gonna answer a question that was put to me. It's about whether somebody who gets free education, whether they should take a free two-year two program in web development. So short answer, if it's free, you are young, you have no bills to pay, and uh, you're not pressed to make money, you know, if you were, had a family at the support or something, et cetera, et cetera, that's a whole different thing. But you're young, you don't have any bills, uh, you could maybe work a part-time job, or maybe you're working at, living at home at this point in time. Why not do it? So let me just read this email from somebody from Spain. Um, here in Spain, we have something called professional education, which is a two-year free. They only pay their taxes formation. Formation just means two years of training. Formation, I guess in Spanish they say formation. In French, they say formation as well, so formation. It's interesting. Anyway, specifically, I'm going to read, continue reading here. Specifically, there's one called multi-platform web development. In the second year of education, you can choose to make 80% of the curriculum actual working with a job contract. See, I like that a lot. Like I say, with my own courses, I say you do my foundations, you do one or two of the projects, there's a whole bunch, you do one or two of the projects, and then I say get out there, do some free work, do some free work, work with people, small little contracts, right? It could be simple website building, it could be implementing somebody's Wix or Squarespace, it could be putting up a WordPress site, it could be building a simple PayPal shopping cart integration, what have you. You don't want to get caught up in tutorial itis you don't want to be continuously just doing tutorials and tutorials because ultimately people who do that it's just they're a little bit afraid so i like programs where they get you going quickly one year you got your training and then the second part of the year it's 80 percent uh working on the job and 20 percent um study that's a ratio of that i would recommend so i don't know this particular program i don't know what they're teaching you specifically but at least i like that structure the first year they get you going, second year, they switch you over, you're working. This is the way I would do it, and this is the best way to learn, by the way, whether it be on your own, on your own or in a school academic situation. You want to get into the ring, if you will. You want to get in the real world as quickly as possible doing things. I equate this to uh, uh, pad hitters in martial arts, so I did a lot of fighting arts in the day, lots of boxing and a, different, a whole bunch of different styles. And um, I've talked about this before. There's a group of people who will just do drills and pad hitting and heavy bag hitting uh, for a long time, but never step in the ring to fight. Whereas if you really want to learn to become a good fighter, whether it be Muay Thai or straight up boxing, or you want to get into Jiu Jitsu or Judo or wrestling, I've done wrestling and Judo as well. Uh, you just want to get in there and you want to start sparring as quickly as possible. Once you have your basics down, get in the ring, start sparring, start doing the real thing. I've seen it time and time again. People who spend too much time in the theoretical world find that uh, they come to regret that. They come to regret that they've wasted a lot of time in theory and they should have been out there in the real world. So this program, back to this program, if it's two years, it's free. The first year is theory. The second year, it's uh, you go into the job market for 80% of your time. Why not do it? If you have no responsibilities, you don't have a family to support, that's great. The main thing I have uh, concern about when t we're talking about education, higher education, is getting into crazy debt, long-term debt. So if you can get a free, free training, two years, not too long, you can, get the, uh, you can get the diploma at the end, which can only help. It's not absolutely necessary, that's for sure, especially if you're getting into contracting, small business, that kind of stuff. Diplomas are not very important at that point. It helps, but it's not super important. But if you can get something for inex inexpensive, and free is inexpensive, so you're fortunate enough that, uh, uh, well, you're paying for it in some way or another. You know, the, it, nothing comes for free. So you know, if you're getting the education for free, that's because other people are paying more taxes to cover that. And that is a societal choice about whether or not that's worthwhile. I'm not going to get into the politics of that. It's too much of a hot button issue. I would take advantage because you're paying for it no matter what. You're going to pay for it with taxes. So again, if you're in that situation where it makes sense for you, you're paying for it. You will pay for it if you stay in Spain. And uh, here Spain's a beautiful place, so uh, you might want to stay there. So, yeah, I would say do it. All right. Ciao. Bye.